In this video, we'll demonstrate how to clip with OBS Studio. But before we dive into the details, I'd like to invite you to hit that like button if you're excited to learn more about clipping in OBS Studio. And feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback is crucial to helping us create better content for you. Now let's get started. Clipping in OBS Studio can be more efficient and performance friendly compared to other platforms. I'll guide you through the process and also show you how to set it to start automatically with Windows. First, load into OBS Studio, head to your settings, and navigate to the Output tab. Ensure it's on Advanced. Go to the Replay Buffer and enable it. Set the maximum replay time to your desired length. I use 50. Apply the changes and now you'll see the Replay Buffer icon. Next, configure your hotkeys by setting a key for saving the replay. I use Caudrel Plus F, but you can choose any key that suits you. Once set, you can start the replay buffer and use your bind key to capture clips. To make OBS Studio start automatically with Windows, close the replay buffer. Right-click the OBS Studio shortcut on your desktop, go to Properties, and in the Target field, add a space at the end followed by Start Replay Buffer. This ensures the replay buffer begins every time you launch OBS Studio. Apply the changes. Now, to set it to launch with Windows, press Windows plus R. Type shell.com and startup and hit OK. Drag the customized shortcut into the startup folder. This ensures that OBS Studio with the replay buffer will launch automatically with Windows, allowing you to start clipping right away. If you found this video helpful, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on. Your likes and comments inspire us to create more content like this, and subscribing ensures you won't miss our future tutorials. For additional tutorials, visit our website at mediamagnetguide.com. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to assisting you in the next video.